Baseball team had to do some parade planning after winning their first national championship in school history. Our Kevin Lewis caught up with a Tampa native who helped carry a team that wasn't sure it would even make it to the postseason. I don't even remember it, uh, if we're being completely honest. I was in the bullpen, it was kind of a blur. Tampa native Josh Mallett tells me the Rebels were trying to act like a team that had been there before, even though they had never actually been there before. I looked at our pitching coach, Coach Laff, and he goes, get back to your spot. We can't, we can't act like we're winning already. Ole Miss has won the College World Series. I really don't remember. I remember sprinting from the bullpen, getting in the dog pile, everyone screaming and celebrating, giving each other big hugs. And no, it felt, it felt really good. It wasn't all celebrating and hugs for Ole Miss this season. At one point, they were 7-14 and 14 in SEC play. They lost in the first round of the conference tournament and were one of the last four teams picked for the NCAA tournament. A lot of guys uh, weren't having doubts necessarily, but uh, weren't sure if we were going to make the postseason. And uh, we all came together one day and said, you know, if we make the postseason, then uh, we're going to make a run for it. And our name got called and lo and behold, we, uh, we won and man, it's a good feeling. The Rebels won 10 of 11 to end the season, proving that sometimes Cinderella can stay out way past curfew. Our hitters started to hit, our pitchers started to pitch. Uh, it was all gelling together, and that's something that wasn't really happening uh, in the middle of the season. So once it uh, all came together, a lot of the guys got confidence, and that's kind of what made us go. Mallets tells me if you've never been to Omaha to experience the College World Series, get there ASAP. It sounded like a football game, like a, uh, a Saturday night football game. Everyone was screaming, oh, the chants were going, you know. Everybody was into it, and that really helped, uh, helped us go as well. Josh won a state title with Jesuit in 2019. He told me playing on that stage with a talented roster is what put him in position to excel at the next level. You know what it feels like to have a winning mentality. Uh, so getting to college and being with a bunch of winners and a bunch of really good guys, uh, it helps, it helps it, um, tremendously. In Tampa, I'm Kevin Lewis, ABC Action News.